Hey, what is up my chemistry people? It is Mr. Boylan. What in the heck are we gonna do in this video? We're gonna collect data and make measurements with accuracy and precision. Wow, that sounds familiar to a video that we had recently. Let's break it down a little bit. In this video, we're gonna talk about the importance of a standard and how standards are really important when it comes to getting accurate measurements. Then we're gonna list the base units of measurement in the metric system for distance, volume, and mass. Finally, we're gonna explain how to use a system of prefixes to represent multiples of 10 or submultiples of 10 of those base units. First things first, the metric system simplifies measurement by using a single base unit as a standard for each quantity. To help explain this, I've brought in a guest speaker. Her name is Chikitika. I call her Chiki. Here's how Chiki and I are gonna help you better understand the importance of standard units of measurement. We're gonna talk about units of length. Now, although the length unit foot is not part of the metric system, we do use it in the United States to measure length or distance. But there has to be some sort of standard set up, right, Chiki? Otherwise, if we were measuring feet, we might get a foot and a foot. Not exactly the same. Thanks, Chiki. Now, as you take a look at your notes, the base units for distance, volume, and mass are meter, liter, and gram, respectively. And those are the ones that we're gonna use in this class, as well as the rest of the world. Those units set a standard for those quantities of distance, volume, and mass. But sometimes it's not really practical to measure distances in meters or it's not really practical to measure volumes in liters. Sometimes the things that we're gonna be measuring are gonna be either much larger or much smaller. And the great thing about the metric system is that it allows us to use a series of prefixes that create multiples or submultiples of 10 of those base units. Now, the mnemonic device that I like to use to keep this order of prefixes is the great and mighty King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk Monday night. And that'll get you from giga, mega, kilo, hecto, deca, your base unit, deci, centi, milli, micro, nano. All right, and that'll about do it for the video today. We'll practice a lot of metrics in class. Check out the info beneath the video for all those references.